We were looking at other models of how a patient should be observed and we noticed that lifesavers on the beach were constantly monitoring the swimmers. As one lifesaver said, if you wait till they wave their hands it's often too late. So they were looking for early signs. So that between the flags became obvious. The first thing we do in this program is to help staff to identify when a person's deteriorating. So we've separated out the five vital signs, temperature, pulse, blood pressure, the amount of oxygen in the blood and the breathing rate and put them on to a chart in a more organised fashion. Each of those observations can be recorded in three bands. In the white band, the patient is generally safe. In the yellow band either side of that, there's a problem that we need to think about seriously, so talk to a senior colleague. Uh, beyond that, there is a red zone on either side when the patient is in trouble and that's when we need to call a medical emergency response uh, or if you're in a small facility, call the paramedics to come and help and arrange for a transfer to a larger uh, hospital. I think Between the Flags working with EMR is a very good example of an improved uh, way of protecting our patients. It has to build on the culture that we've uh, inculcated into the system before we went electronically, uh, but the benefits of an electronic record for both uh, speed, for accuracy and for evaluation uh, will enhance this program even more. Port Macquarie is where our first site where we went live and the challenge there is introducing something entirely new into a clinical environment where they're actually going to use it for the care of patients. And it went remarkably smoothly. And I think that's a testament to, one, the product, because it was so well developed, but also the professionalism of the, of the team who implemented it, but also the clinicians. So between the flags and the EMR allows the nurses to continue to provide the care that they do recording vital signs and attending to the patient. They enter that information electronically. Uh, when they view that information electronically, it will trend them with abnormal signs being clearly visible. It also provides warning prompts to say that the person has abnormal signs. The vital signs can be adjusted for individual patients but would require a set of senior medical staff to come and see the patient and then be satisfied that the vital signs, although abnormal, are satisfactory for that patient at that time. Basically because Between the Flags uh, illuminates the fact when they're out of you know the normal range and which particular junior nurses quite often you know don't realize straight away so when this gets prompted by BTF you know then all of the straight away they can actually call the doctor and actually can see it so which is a good thing. I think the biggest advantage is that we've got evidence for the medical team that something is occurring to this patient. We can go to them and say this patient's observations are within a zone, whether it be yellow, whether it be red, uh, and then there's no more convincing. They're in that zone, something needs to be done. Experienced medical nursing staff know what abnormal vital signs are and know the parameters, but the system allows and empowers the nurses and doctors to act and respond in a timely fashion and lift the game, so to speak, so that uh, everyone responds promptly. So now the challenge is um, to roll it out across the state. So we've got EDs queuing up to implement it. Once we've done that, it will actually go beyond the emergency departments because it's actually going to become the core of clinical practice in all the wards across the whole of the state, just as the original chart was. I think both Between the Flags and EMR are good examples of where we're bringing the whole system together. Uh, from uh, the baseline staff who are by the bedside looking after patients in the ED or, or on a ward at 2am in the middle of the night, right through to uh, the administration, the support of the pillars, uh, through the executives in the local health districts and, and right up to the support we've got from the Minister to make these things work. It's been a, a great program of collaboration, that's the, success, that's the secret of its success.